Hi, this is the Tutor Nick P, and this is Word Origins 139. The word origin today is Fanny, and uh, the, there's a big difference between American English and British English, so we're going to look at that in this video. So let's take a look at the note. Uh, it is ironic that this word almost um, has, you know, opposite meanings in both countries, okay? Uh, in the U.S., the word Fanny uh, is often used as a cute, humorous uh, word to refer to one's buttocks or one's butt. Uh, in the UK, Australia, New Zealand, Ireland, and South Africa, it is an offensive term uh, or offensive word to mean a woman's vagina. So, you know, her sexual area down there in the front, basically. Uh, in the UK, to get some fanny could mean to have sexual intercourse with a woman, so they do use it that way. Uh, the closest U.S. equivalent would probably be a booty call, because we sometimes use the word booty to also mean your butt. But this is, you know, this could be with anybody. Uh, if you have a booty call, you know, it could be, a, you know, a man could have a booty call with a woman, or a woman could have a booty call with a man. That part doesn't matter. All right, let's continue. Some believe the British meaning may have originated uh, from a John Cleland novel uh, called either, it's either referred to as Fanny Hill, which is the character's name, or Memoirs of a Woman of Pleasure in 1748. So memo memoirs, somebody writes their memoirs, they, they talk about their life story. So, I mean, she probably talked about her sexual encounters, I think, in this book. Uh, the female main character was named Fanny, which was a diminutive form, you know, like a, like a kid's form. Like if somebody's named John, Johnny might be a diminutive form, or if they're named Joe, Joey. So the, uh, Fanny is a diminutive form of the female version of the name Francis. Okay. Um, okay, let's go. The main character, Fanny, would be a diminutive. All right, good. Uh, the earliest writing of the British word um, fanny, meaning vagina, appeared in the 1830s. So it did appear a bit later. It did appear about 50, 60 years later. Sometimes it happens like that. Sometimes when you get, um, I know some uh, Shakespeare uh, expressions that we use in English, because they were studied or they were reread so many times, sometimes the phrase didn't work its way into the language until 50 years, 100 years, even sometimes several hundred years after because people read them over and then they started using it and it worked its way into the language. So it is possible it came from that, or at least that's what they think uh, is the best uh, possibility. <clears throat> Let's continue. The use of fanny to mean but first appeared uh, around World War I. So the American version meaning but uh, after World War I, around World War I, that's when they started using the word uh, fanny to mean but in the US. Okay, good. Um, first time I heard uh, of the British meaning was actually from my father. Even though I had been, I've been to England before, I don't really remember if um, I heard the word fanny used much in, in England when I was there, but I remember my father telling this story. Uh, when he was in the Navy in World War II, he was stationed in England. Okay, uh, for a while, for a period of time, uh, he said him and I think, you know, another sailor or a couple other sailors, they were picking up some uh, British girls and he was going to the house to pick them up uh, at their home. I think my father said, yeah, hey, shake your fanny, you know, we're going to be late. Uh, in American English, of course, if you say shake your fanny, it's very equivalent. It's equivalent to like shake your butt. We sometimes say that to just hurry up. It's a cute way of saying hurry up. So if you shake your butt, it means you're moving faster, you're getting going. So my father said, shake your fanny. But he said this in front of the girl's uh, parents. And of course, you know, in England, your uh, fanny obviously meant the opposite. It meant the vagina. So uh, just like we said here, uh, he said that the, the woman, uh, the, the expression or the look on their face pretty much said it all. And that's when he learned uh, you know, what, what, uh, actually Fanny meant. So be careful. Um, my father actually had to learn the hard way. So if you go to 
England, uh, you know, if you're American, you go to England, be careful how you use the word fanny, because it actually has the opposite meaning. Okay, good. And of course, if you're British, and you're in the States, and you hear some guy or somebody say fanny, obviously, he's not talking about the vagina, he's talking about somebody's butt. <laughs> okay. All right, anyway, let's continue. All right, so, uh, yeah, so we just got three quick examples here. Uh, this first one, you may hear it used like this, uh, get off your fanny and do some work. Yes. Yeah, sometimes people say that, like, you know, get off your butt and do some work, get off your fanny and do some work. Like, don't be lazy, get up. Uh, she fell on her fanny. Yeah. Again, kind of a cute way of saying, but you know, you fell on your fanny. And of course, we'll just say this one for the English one in England. Fanny is a vulgar term for female genitals. So, so be careful how you use that. Anyway, uh, I hope you got it. Uh, I hope it was uh, informative. It was very clear. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.